Bouillabaisse would have to be the most popular French provincial soup. It comes from the Marseille region and it had humble beginnings when the fishermen would use all their offcuts, just like the bones from snapper and the heads from the prawns, to make a really delicious soup. Now it's become a really famous luxurious soup because we finish it off with gorgeous seafood like scallops and mussels and the meat of the prawns. Now, there's a few little steps to it, but the result is just breathtaking and it's a soup to have as a main meal. To start with, some fennel. So I've got a big bulb of fennel that goes straight into a pot with the olive oil, along with some celery. Everything can be roughly chopped at this stage because I'm going to blitz it at the end. Some onions, so two whole onions can go in. Also, four cloves of garlic, they can go in whole. And some carrot, that's going to give it some sweetness and give this soup a really lovely colour. Just mix this up so everything's coated in that olive oil. Now for some spices. So traditionally in this you would add some saffron. Saffron is very powerful, so you don't want to add too much of it. I'm going to add a small little pinch, so about five or six strands of saffron. Saffron's really expensive too, so you don't want to overdo it. So be scarce with it. And some coriander seeds. About a teaspoon of that can go into the pot. Now I'm just going to allow this to cook away until it softens for about five to ten minutes. I can also add a little bit of salt at this stage. Now let's talk about the seafood. Over here, some snapper heads, loads of flavour. I'm not using any bones that come from pink fish, so I don't want to be using uh, bones from the trout or a salmon. White bones for this. Now these cute little mullets, so much flavour, fantastic for this soup. So if you can get this from your fishmonger, make sure you use them. I'm just going to cut them just with a machete and I'm going to cut them in three. And head, bones, the whole lot can go in together. Also, loads of flavour in prawn heads. In actual fact, you can do this soup with less fish and use majority of these prawn heads because they are so sweet. Also, the shells are used. Now, let this cook down and then the fish can go in. Now that this has softened, I can add our fish. And I'll lift that up and we'll just pop it straight in there and snapper heads and our prawn heads. Now I'm going to get a little bit of colour on this seafood and then once it does change a little bit, then I'm going to add the alcohol and the classic choice would have to be a little bit of perno, which has an aniseed flavour and some white wine. some tomato, a little bit of tomato paste, dessert spoonful and just dissolve that in the liquid and a whole can of whole peeled tomatoes and that's going to also give it sweetness and that really nice pale pink colour that we associate with bouillabaisse. Now a few more ingredients in this orange peel, one long strip of orange peel. That in itself will give so much flavour. In it goes. And then a whole heap of herbs, some thyme, bay leaf and a big amount of tarragon. I've got some fish stock here. Use good quality fish stock for this. And we want to cover all of these bones, all of the herbs there and the veggies. And I'm going to add just a little bit more. And this is going to cook for about 30 minutes, just on a gentle simmer. And the room is going to smell absolutely incredible. I wish you were here right now with me to smell this. It smells like that time I was in Marseille walking past all those lovely restaurants and everyone makes their own style of bouillabaisse. This is just such a joy to make. And this is a stage where we blend. Now, I'm not blending all of this soup. What I'm blending is some of the bones, in particular the mullet, 
and the prawn heads because that's where all the flavour is. So this blender is going to pulverise all of the seafood in here, some of the vegetables and a lot of that broth. So I blend half of it and then I'm also going to strain some of the broth and add it to the final result too. So let's put this on. Again, always be careful when you're using a blender. Make sure it's not too hot because if it's too hot, you may burn yourself and don't fill it up all the way to the top. So now the lid can go on and I'll start with a slow speed and then I'll build up the speed until it gets quite fine. Alright, the blender has done a fantastic job in blitzing this and I gave it a good five minutes and the reason you want to give it five minutes is because you want it to be silky smooth just like this. Oh, I'm addicted to that smell. <laughs> it smells fantastic. But we do want to strain it one more time because this is going to thicken up the soup too. So strain it through a fine sieve and you'll see it just come through there. I'll start with three quarters of it and then just use the back of the ladle just to force it through. And then the combination of this and that pure fish stock that I strained is the ultimate base to poach some seafood. And the seafood of my choice is some prawns that I've just got over there and some mussels. Now the mussels are gonna go in first and then I'll finish it off with the prawns because you really wanna cook them at the last minute. in now and I always put them in about one to two minutes after the mussels and I'm turning the heat off now because I really don't want to overcook those prawns because that soup is so hot. Look at that, see that one? That one's already curling up and changing colour. So I'm also going to serve it with some toast and classically you would add it with a roux and a roux sauce is some mayonnaise with a little bit of cayenne pepper, just a hint for some spice and again a small amount of saffron in there and you'll see the colour change so much in this. And use some char grilled bread. See all these marks there? That's flavour. So you can toast if you like but ideally in the pan so we get that smoky flavour. And generously smear that mayonnaise over the little tartine as we like to call it in French. Okay, now it's time to serve up because those prawns are going to be ready. A nice big shallow bowl like that and using some tongs we're just going to fish out, pardon the pun, the prawns and a few of these mussels. And in restaurants in Marseille what they do is pile up the seafood and you can add different types of seafood here. Big chunks of fish, wonderful. If you want to go all out, a little bit of lobster, why not? Some Balmain bugs, fantastic. So there's the first component and then in a jug I'm just going to ladle this glorious soup in and you serve it hot at the table by pouring it over this seafood. So just around and be generous with it. Look at that colour. That's the colour that you're looking for. Finally, a little toast here just goes on the side. You could add some parsley if you like, some chives, maybe some finely chopped tarragon. I'm just going to keep it as is because I think it looks fantastic and it's time for a taste. Look at this consistency. That is perfect. I don't like it too thick. Mm. Tell you what, my bouillabaisse is the best, hands down. Big call, but I promise you won't fail with my recipe. <laughs>